Kaylee, if you want to go ahead and start recording, if you haven't already. Um, so my name is Amy, and I work in Business Career Services. Um, we're located on the second floor of Peacock Hall. Um, it's where you can, uh, as a student, go and find support for resume reviews, cover letters, interview skills, job search strategies, anything professional development related. Uh, business Career Services can support you um, in those areas. And so one of the really cool things that we get to do, in addition to meeting with students individually, is we get to present to groups of people um, about various topics. And so the professional development series is something that we'll do in the fall semester and the spring semester as well. Each week we'll cover a different topic in hopes to prepare you for the upcoming career fairs that we have, events that we have scheduled that semester, or just to interview and apply for internships and full-time positions. Um, and so tonight um, we are covering handshake. Um, and uh, we, we have um, some folks on Zoom as well. And Kaylee is our Zoom co-pilot. She's one of our Walker Fellows. And so she's gonna be helping us manage um, everything on the Zoom side of things tonight. And so if you have questions, um, you'd like to put those in the chat, um, then Kaylee will help uh, navigate the chat for me and let me know what those questions are at the end of the session, if that's okay. Um, so we'll try to get through all the presentation piece and then try to address um, your questions there. That sound good, everybody on Zoom? Everybody, Carly, <laughs> thanks for logging in. <laughs> awesome, okay. So, um, Handshake basically is our career management system that we have at Appalachian State. Every single student automatically has an account set up in Handshake. So you don't have to do that piece. Um, what you do need to do, and we'll talk about a little bit tonight, is um, going in to complete your profile um, within Handshake. And so what we're trying to do in Business Career Services is funnel all students at Appalachian State and all employers that want to recruit here to use Handshake. And so this is a space that you can access internships that are posted, full-time positions, any events that employers are gonna host either on campus um, or on their campuses or companies, um, any career-related event, all of that um, you'll be able to find and register for those events within in Handshake. So really we want it to be a one-stop shop where you're not having to go to a million different places to do all the things that we have here. Um, you can utilize Handshake. Okay. All right, so just a little bit um, about Handshake. There are currently over 420,000 employers that post opportunities um, within Handshake, including 100% of the Fortune 500 companies. And so, just to give you peace of mind as far as students, and maybe you're not sure, there's a lot of companies on there that you've never heard of before. Our Central Career Development Center team actually vets every single company before we post, um, post their profile um, at Appalachian State for you to view. And so there are trust scores. Um, we do a lot of research on our end to make sure that they are legitimate companies um, with legitimate um, opportunities. We also, as a recruiting policy at Appalachian State, we do not endorse um, commission-only positions. Um, there are some internships that you can do that are unpaid, um, but all of the jobs that are posted on Handshake um, should have some type of salary um, or hourly rate um, that's tied to that position. So not that sales jobs are fantastic, and sometimes those are commission-only. But the ones that we post um, in Handshake and Approve at Appalachian State will have a salary tied to that. All right, so today, what I really want to cover um, in some of these pieces in detail are how to build out your profile on Handshake, um, how to make an appointment um, with our career services staff, um, some job search strategies. I think there's a lot of unique um, capabilities within, within Handshake that I think many students don't realize um, are there. And so I'm going to do a deeper dive on some of those job search strategies and how to connect to employers and register for events within Handshake. So very basic.
All right, so it's really important for you guys to build out your profile within Handshake because you're five times more likely to be messaged by an employer. So employers have the ability to do some pretty in-depth searches for the students that they're looking for, the candidates that they're looking for, all based on words, the words that are within your profiles. And so the more uh, word rich um, your profiles are, very similar to LinkedIn, the higher it is that you are gonna come up on an employer search when they're looking um, to fill these positions. And so you have the ability to keep that profile private until you feel that it looks good to share with the world. And so I'd recommend doing that until you feel super comfortable that you're ready to, um, to broadcast that to employers. <laughs> All right, so as you log into Handshake, and we will here in a minute, but I just wanna show you, this is um, a, a basic overview of what your profile would look like when you log in. So you'll see in the top over him, left hand corner, you'll have your profile picture, hopefully. Please upload a profile picture. If you don't have one, that's one of the most important first steps that you can do in building your Handshake profile. Um, we are actually offering free professional headshots at Walker Business Connections event this year. So we'll have photographers there that will be taking your picture because you're going to show up hopefully in your suit looking super professional um, and then we will email those to you once um, once they're done editing those and that is a great thing uh, for you to use to upload uh, for your profile picture on Handshake and LinkedIn. Hopefully if between now and then if you don't have a professional headshot if you just find a blank background where something professional within your picture, have someone else take it instead of it looking like you're taking a selfie. Um, if you need just a simple placeholder um, to put on Handshake and LinkedIn until we're offering those, but um, highly encourage that. And you'll see under your name, where, like, where my name is on, on the page, um, and it says Appalachian State University. Um, it will say your major and what degree that you're earning. Um, You'll see your GPA, but that won't be public to anyone else um, to see. Uh, but this is your internal profile. Um, all of that is pulled from Banner, okay? The majority of that. There are some things that you have the ability uh, to, to change and tweak, but some things are permanent. Like your major, you wouldn't be able to go in the shape and change that because it pulls directly from Banner. So if you ever change your major and you see that it, is not reflecting that um, in the system yet. You need to give it a couple of days. Like if you change your major with your academic advisor, it may take a couple of days for that process um, and change it over, but it will eventually. So um, let's see, you'll also see under my journey, that is a really great space for you to give two to three sentences about basic skills um, that you bring to the table. Um, really similar to in LinkedIn, where you have a kind of a summary section where you can add some information about you. That's gonna be um, similar um, to this My Journey section that you see on that um, profile page. And then of course, education. Again, all of that is pulled um, directly from Banner. So you really don't have a lot of access um, or, or control over those pieces. Um, in that section. As we move down, we're scrolling down your profile page. Um, the next section of the, of the page that you would see would be um, the work and volunteer experience section. And that's gonna be the part-time work that you're doing while you're in school. Um, maybe your part-time summer position that you've held, you would put um, into this section. And then of course, volunteer. So you could include um, campus involvement and things that you're involved in on campus would uh, you would enter into that work and volunteer experience sections. The other really important piece of this part of the page is under your interests. So this again is where you want to get really word rich um, that's going to help you um, increase your searchability from an employer. So you can actually go in there and post if you are actively looking for a job, which is very similar to what you can do in LinkedIn to let people know that you're open to opportunities. Um, so this will automatically flag employers to know to reach out to you, to connect with you that you're actively seeking. You can also put your job interests. So if you're interested in an internship or a full-term position, 
part-time job, um, the locations or the cities that you prefer to work in. Again, that will help when they're doing their search of your candidates. If you post on there that you really want to work in Charlotte, then that's going to help in your searchability. The types of roles that you're interested in, you can, um, you can include that. And then, of course, the industries that you're interested in. So again, these are very, very easy ways um, to help increase your searchability in those sections. The next, as you scroll down, the sections that you would see are the skills section. Um, and again, really easy way to help um, add in some of those. You can add those yourself um, under the add more skills section and clicking on that green um, add button. And so if you know that there are hard or technical skills or even soft skills, um, you can type those in and add those to your profile in that section. And then of course they have the organizations and extracurriculars where you can put, if you're a part of any kind of organization on campus. Um, so if that's the American Marketing Association or the Supply Chain Club, um, any of those honorary um, or fraternities and sororities, um, all of that would go in that section of organizations and extracurriculars. And then lastly, on this profile page, um, you can see a manage documents section. This is a really, really important section on your handshake profile. This is where you're going to upload um, your final copy of your resume that you're going to use to apply for internships or full-time positions, where you can upload cover letters that you may need to apply um, or to add to those applications. Also in this section, you can upload official um, and unofficial copies of your transcripts. So those are all things that employers will typically ask for as a part of their application process. Um, and so you will be able to manage and save all those documents within your profile. Make sure that you are titling those things correctly because you have multiple copies of your resume that you may use for different things. You wanna make sure that they're titled correctly so you attach the correct one when you're applying. Um, but what will happen is when you go into a for position, it'll give you a list of all the documents that you have saved in your profile. So hopefully you'll be able to pick the one that you actually want to upload with that piece. And we'll talk a little bit more about that applying part um, and I'll show you specifically. You can also add courses. This is a really great way to get some of those industry terms and skills that um, companies are looking for. So including um, your business related courses um, that you're taking, especially if they're relevant to the positions that you plan to apply for. So if you're a finance major, make sure to upload all of your finance related courses in there. Um, and again, that will help with your searchability. And then finally, there is a projects section, which I think is really fantastic. Um, you can upload really complicated Excel projects maybe that you've done before. Um, or if you're a CIS major and you have some really specific softwares that you've done projects with, um, this is a great place to save those projects. Um, marketing majors, if you're doing a lot of design work in Adobe, um, all of those pieces you would be able to save um, in this section. And so then employers can see real live examples of how you utilize those skills to build certain projects um, or finished products. And so I really love this section. I keep all of my presentations that I create um, for business career services in there as examples. Um, PowerPoints um, or Google Slides um, are all great examples of projects that you could upload in that section as well. All right, so any question about that profile page? Guys, Handshake is very, very intuitive and they actually have a feature where you can upload your resume and it will automatically fill in a lot of these sections for you that you don't even have to do it. Um, I do recommend that if you use that feature that you go back and double check to make sure that it put the right information in the correct places because it may autofill things that aren't necessarily where you want it to go. So that is a nice feature, but I encourage you to double check. Haley, are you good on your end? Awesome. Okay. All right, so next let's talk about making appointments. Um, so again, we have um, career coaches and business career services, and you are able to make appointments um, with those coaches through Handshake. So we try to make that very, very easy for you. Um, if you come to your homepage in Handshake, 
in the upper right hand corner where it says career center. Um, you'll see, and I have a drop down menu there and I've circled it in red. You can see where it says appointments. And so you would click on appointments. And this next page um, should show up. And so again, you'll see um, a square that says appointments. You'll click on that. Schedule an appointment. And then you'll choose your college. Um, it should only allow you to make appointments within the college that you've been, that you have been admitted to um, or that you've declared a major um, in. But if you haven't declared a major yet, then it may not allow you to meet with a, a college of business um, career services person. Um, you may have to go through the Central Career Development Center um, before. If that ever comes up, let us know and we can, even if you're, you're a freshman, you know you wanna be a business major, but you haven't been admitted yet, um, but you have questions in that area, then we will be more than happy to meet with you. All right, and then it's gonna come up with all kinds of appointment types that you can choose from. I have no idea if you can read that or not, um, but it can be major exploration, resume reviews, cover letter, creation, um, job and internship search skills, interview prep. Um, we have 30 minute appointments and Dylan, do you have hour appointments? Uh, for interview prep. For interview prep only, there is an hour long um, appointment uh, option because we'll actually do a real interview with you, uh, a practice interview. And it takes time to do the interview and then provide you feedback at the end um, on things that you can work on. So you would go through this list and figure out what best meets your needs based on what you want to meet um, with the career coach and select it. And then hopefully the next page that would appear would be the dates that appointments are available and the times um, that those are available. So you would select um, hopefully the time and date that works best with your schedule. And then it would send you an email confirmation um, once that's completed. So automated, super, super easy. Any questions about how to make an appointment? Anybody good? Okay. All right, so next let's talk about job search strategies. All right. So when you are ready to do your internship or job search, um, then you would come to that home page in the upper right hand corner um, of the page, you'll see a tab that says jobs. Um, and so you will click on jobs. And I'm going to try, um, Kaylee, will you let me know, did the, did the screen change for you? Yes. Perfect. Um, that was going to be the tricky part to make sure that that actually happens. Okay, so this is would be what the page looks like when you um, enter into Handshake. And this upper left hand corner, you see jobs. Okay. And so once you click on that, then you have this whole filter option here, which is really, really great. So you can click on all filters. All right, so maybe you're looking for full time jobs really want to be paid, right? Because that's important. Nobody wants to do this stuff for free. Typically in early searches, I would recommend that unless you know very specifically what it is that you want to do, leave those job roles open um, and even uh, industry and employer open. Only thing I would recommend that you start with is, um, and I am a higher ed major, I'm in grad school, so um, that's what's available for me. I would put it in your major, um, and let's see, what about this? I don't see location. Oh, let me put that here at the top. Okay. Under location, then you can put in North Carolina or wherever you would like to be. Okay. And then show results. All right. So once you have all your filter parameters in, um, you're on the left hand side here is all of your results that show up. So for me, I have 557 jobs um, in North Carolina that popped up for me in higher education. So I think to be a teacher right now would, uh, is you probably find a job. <laughs> so um, 
So if you scroll down here, um, and I just want to show you really quickly, let's just click this first one. Kaylee, are you still seeing, does it say 2022 store management training? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to make sure you guys are still with me there. All right. So you click on the one that you're interested in. You'll see that that pops up on your screen. It shows you the application deadline. It shows you when it was posted. So that's definitely something to consider. If it's been posted for six months, they're probably getting pretty close. They may be beyond their, their search time frame, right? So I think just being cognizant of those post dates and how long they've been on there is important to look at, All right? Um, you can continue to scroll down and you'll see there's a role description. So reading through what it's all about. Um, you can also see um, similar um, similar roles. Let me see. Meet Coles Corporation and Upstream University Career Fair. It lets you know what events that they're coming to. It also lets you know if you match all of their criteria, which I don't want you to be deterred from applying for things if you don't have green checks for all of those things. Because Handshake will allow you to apply for everything regardless if you meet all of your criteria or not. So to me, I would let we, the employer choose if they want to review your information or not. They can't if you don't apply. So I say apply for all of it, even if you don't match the criteria. Also look to see why you're not matching the criteria. If it's school year, then that may mean that you haven't entered any graduation date. Um, and if that graduation date is not in there, then you'll never check the box for school year. So make sure that you do that and that that's correct. GPA would be the only other thing probably that may not match. Um, most employers are looking for a minimum of 3.0 um, for that GPA. Again, don't let that deter you, especially if you're at 2.98 um, or you're really, really close to that cutoff. Let the employer decide if, based on the rest of your resume if you're interested um, in pursuing a conversation with you. Okay. Um, scroll down and you can see that four alumni from Appalachian State um, work there. So this is a great way to network with people, maybe your peers um, or alumni from your university that you could reach out to um, and say, hey, I'm interested in working at Coles and I see that, you know, that you work there also. I'd love to hear what that interview process looked like or what your experience has been so far. So I think oftentimes students may not realize what a great networking tool that Handshake can be if you dig just a little bit deeper um, into the system to see. All right, so if we scroll back up and you click on this apply button, okay? You're ready, you're ready to apply. All right, once you click that button, it's gonna tell you everything that you need to apply for that particular position. So for this one, and they're, they, they're all maybe a little different, Okay. They can be quick apply, apply externally. Um, they all may have uh, slightly different parameters of what they're asking for. So this particular one is got asking you to attach your resume. So this is where that uploading your documents is important and having those titled correctly. Okay, Because you'll have a list that pops up there of all of the documents that you have saved. You would click on that and then click for this one, step two, is an external application. It's gonna save your resume within Handshake and then send you to their website um, for their company where you would finish that application process there. It's important to do both and follow those directions really, really carefully um, because you don't wanna not finish it here and then do it there or vice versa. You wanna make sure that everything's completed in both places um, because a lot of these employers are really tracking where are they getting your candidates, okay? And so you completing all the steps in these areas is important to them so they know, can truly track um, who's hearing about them and applying for these positions through these various outlets. Okay. So another really cool feature that I wanna show you in this section here is as you are scrolling on the left-hand side and you see that all of these things have popped up, you can click on these cool little purple banners, okay? You're like, oh yeah, that one looks good. I think I'm interested in this one and this one. Okay, so now you've gone through and you've done a ton of research and you've saved a whole bunch of things that you wanna go back and look at later. You can go up here to the top beside jobs where it says saved. Okay. And it will save everything that you bookmarked during your search here. 
So to me, this is a really great tool if I'm just trying to do a really quick scan and I don't have time to actually do a deeper dive at that point, um, you can bookmark all of those and then save those later for your search. And um, as a career, the career coaches in our area can actually log into your accounts and do searches on your behalf. Um, so I'll, oftentimes I'll have students reach out to me and say, I'm interested in working in this city and I wanna do this thing and I'm this major, I can go in there and do a really quick search to see what's posted and bookmark them for them. And they're already in their saved file for them later, which is really nice. Not to say that you shouldn't do the work on your own, but we have coaches that can help you um, do that as well. Okay. So any questions on the job search part? Now let's see if I can get back to, what are we doing next? All right, so next is uh, connecting to employers. Okay, Haley, did that switch over for you guys? Okay. All right, so I think oftentimes I will do searches for students in Handshake and they're like, I don't know how to connect with employers and this is overwhelming to me and I feel like there should be a way that I can do this. And I'll go in and I'll say, you have 30 unread emails from recruiters in your Handshake inbox. And they're like, I have a Handshake inbox? And I'm like, yes, you have a Handshake inbox and it's fantastic. Um, and I think oftentimes that you may feel like those are spam and they're not. Um, those are real recruiters that are doing searches within Handshake and you are coming up on their search list. And it may be a mass email. I mean, it may not be one email just to you, but you came up in a search that they've done um, for a position that they have, and they're sending you an email, whether it be mass or not. Um, it is worth responding to that because those are real people. I know a lot of them. Um, one of my jobs as an employer relations manager is to get to know these people really, really well. So um, if they're trying to make connections with you with an handshake, and then you're talking with your career coach and saying, I got this email from this recruiter and handshake, then more than likely we know who that is and can say, yes, that's that's a real person. You should you should most certainly respond um, and engage in that conversation. Especially now, even with the pandemic still happening, um, there are a lot of employers that will be coming to campus this semester, but a lot that still aren't. And so they will be utilizing handshake really heavily um, to communicate with students and market their opportunities. So if you're receiving emails in your um, in your inbox from there in Handshake, please respond to those because they're 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 legitimate um, opportunities in there. So again, if you log in um, and you'll see messages in the top upper right hand corner um, within Handshake, click on there and it'll take you straight to um, those emails there. Any questions about the All right, so next, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the company profiles. So I think that oftentimes users within Handshake don't realize every company that posts opportunities in Handshake has a profile page, just like they would in LinkedIn. So you know, you can just do a search for Lowe's in LinkedIn and they'll have this whole beautiful profile page, you know, page that will show up. And they'll have things in their feed that they're posting about and their job opportunities. The same thing applies in Handshake. Um, and so, let's see here. I think I have it over here. Yeah. All right. So now we're actually, um, we're back in Handshake. All right. So if you click on employers in the upper left-hand corner here, um, and then you can do a search for whoever you want. I went ahead and did a pre-search for Lowe's because they're a really popular company. So if you click on Lowe's, you're interested in working for them. All right, so you'll see automatically one of the, the very first things that we want you to do is to click that follow button, that blue follow button on the right-hand side. What that's gonna do is you'll start receiving notifications, emails, whenever they post a new position, um, if they're coming to campus um, and attending any of our events, 
Once you click that follow button, then you'll receive all the notifications about Lowe's companies. All right, so that's the first thing I would recommend that you do. The next thing that you'll see as you scroll down is, of course, you can learn about Lowe's. So there is an overview um, paragraph about the company. And then you can continue to scroll down and you'll see students who've worked here. All right, so this is a really great tool because you'll see alumni um, at App State or even current students at App State that have done internships or are working for them and they have posted reviews here. So with the com big company like Lowe's, probably not as big of a concern, but uh, a lesser known company that you may not know a whole lot about, this would be a really great tool um, to see other students that have had experiences there and what that's been like. Um, there are reviews, of course, that those um, students can post about particular positions. And then as you are preparing, say that you have applied for a position with Lowe's and you get an interview opportunity. You can go to the interview tab here and uh, students will have posted interview questions that they received during their interview process with that company. So this is a fantastic way to help you prepare. You'll actually, very similar to Indeed, you can go on to Indeed and see sample question, interview questions that people have posted. They have the same capabilities here um, on Handshake. The other fantastic thing um, on the right hand side, you'll see um, upcoming interviews. Um, so Lowe's will be doing virtual mock interviews um, during Walker Business Connections. But you'll see anytime they have um, scheduled any type of on-campus interview, anytime they're doing an event, you'll see that posted on that side. And then the other great thing that they have here on this main page is contact information. So oftentimes students will reach out to me and say, I really wish I had a real human that I could email. I've applied for this position on Handshake with Lowe's, but I'd love to follow up with a recruiter to let them know that I've applied and that I'm really interested. So you can come to the Lowe's company profile page here and they should have here on the right hand side under contact information, an email address of a real human that you could email and follow up with. Send your resume again, um, an intro of yourself. And then of course they have all the social media links that you could start following um, where, where they're posting in those areas as well. So I feel like this is like the biggest hidden gem of Handshake that most people don't realize exists, um, which I think is fantastic. So any questions about that? Let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, here, if you continue to scroll down, you'll see um, other jobs that they have posted at Lowe's, public staff. Um, so even if it's not a recruiter, but they have um, other public staff listed that you can connect with, maybe you know some of those people. And then of course here, the upcoming career fairs that they are going to be attending, you can see that as well. I'll try to put name. All right, and the last thing that we're going to talk about um, tonight is registering for events. Um, so we, this semester, unlike, unlike last semester, well, the last three semesters, we are welcoming employers back to campus in person. And so for Walker Business Connections, we are offering hybrid programming. So we will have um, virtual panel discussions, we'll have virtual um, mock interviews and a virtual career fair, but we will have an in-person career fair in the Convocation Center, fingers crossed that they um, continue to allow us to plan and actually post that. Um, we'll have well over 100 employers that we plan um, to have at that event in person. And so all of that is in handshake for you to apply, uh, to register for. So you can see if you come to your page in the top, upper left hand corner beside jobs, it says events. So you can click on events and then um, you'll see there it says it'll be this. All right, so um, you've logged in so you can see, you can bookmark those if you want to register for those later, um, but it, you can click on it and it gives you the description of what the event is. Um, you can join it and then you can see um, all the employers um, that are attending and start doing some research there. 
I would recommend with Walker Business Connections this year, of course, the in-person event you can just register for and then show up that day. But the virtual career fair is going to require a little more work on your part um, on the front end. Um, because if you remember um, with previous virtual career fairs in Handshake, they have group sessions and they have one-on-one -on -one sessions. But if you simply just register for the virtual career fair, you're not actually affiliated to meet any of those employers. You actually have to go in and build your schedule and decide who you want to meet with and what capacity. So it does require a little work on your on your end. And if anybody ever has any questions about how to do those pieces, um, we're happy um, in career services to help navigate through that process. I personally would really love the virtual career fair because I would be able to plan my entire day before it even happens and know exactly who I'm talking to and for how long and with what company before before it even happens. I think it's really cool, but just not personal. So any questions about those events? Really easy, they'll send you reminder emails, confirmation emails once you've signed up for those. And also employers are still gonna continue to be very creative with offering virtual opportunities, information sessions, panel discussions, um, workshops and conferences that they'll host and post within Handshake that I encourage you to research and look through Handshake to see what all's out there because we still have a lot of employers that aren't able to travel. And so they will be maximizing um, using Handshake um, for some of those events if they can't be here in person. So I encourage you to look through that as well. Okay, so everybody's to-do list after tonight is I hope that you go home and complete your profile and Handshake will let you know if you're at 100% or 80% or it still stinks and you got a lot of work to do. Um, it'll let you know kind of where you are in that completion rate. Um, so I encourage you, so you, you appear really high on those employer searches to go in and complete your profiles make them as robust and rich as possible. Make an appointment with your career coach um, through Handshake. Um, even if you've never met with them before and you just want to get a feel for what that process is going to be like, I encourage you um, to make an appointment with them on a variety of topics that we have in there. Um, be sure that you search and apply. Um, there are, I will tell you, the employers right now are dying to hire people. The, the market is it is rich for taking, okay? So be sure that you're you're in there searching, applying, bookmarking those opportunities um, and, and following up. The follow-up of that is super, super important, okay? And then um, lastly, make sure that you are connecting to, the, to your employers, look through your messages and your emails in there, respond to those and register for those events. So does anybody have any questions about anything that we've covered so far tonight? Thumbs up. Okay. So Kaylee, no questions in the chat box? No. Okay. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Again, um, this has been recorded and will upload it to the Business Career Services YouTube channel. Um, so if you need to access this information later, it will be available in the next couple of days. So thanks so much. Thank you.